Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. My name is Maria. Reading for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Cap, you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, or another Capricorn. You're dealing with an earth sign. That one wants to come out. Spirit saying be cautious. Find out more information. Don't jump in. Yeah, it says quiet work. I, I've never seen that. Oh, it says overwork. Maybe I just read it wrong. It said quiet work. I'm like, is that like shadow work? What's happening there? Maybe you're doing some shadow work. Um, you have some, oh no, it's confusion. These are white print on a black card. Someone's about to tell you something. Cap, maybe it's this earth sign. I need another card for Cap one, please. in there just wait a second I'm very patient somebody's going through a divorce they might be talking about a divorce what's going on for cap breaking up moving out like I hear yelling give it time well, so far it's pretty self-evident. Somebody's talking about a breakup. Here we go. Gonna take five from Heart's Hidden Secrets. First one out is distracted. So this earth, earth sign might be distracted, changes, delays. I have caution. There's some possibilities and they're saying like red flags. Be careful for the red flags. Don't overgive. Oh, confession is somebody is saying someday, one, one time, someday, somewhere, another time. So it's like right person, wrong time. That's a ver I feel like that might be you, Cap, telling somebody this. Like this is not the right time. I also have shocking under divorce. So maybe this, this conversation about this breakup is completely, it's like a tower moment, right? Somebody's coming in to either tell you about this divorce they heard about or this breakup. Or you might be the one experiencing that. This is the one calling me. And rejection under give it time. Ah, somebody has played out. If somebody feels abandoned, um, distressed, frustrated, irrational behavior. Um, yeah. Kind of like left out in the cold. It's kind of the five of pentacles feeling. Ah, there it is. And I need to get what's the tea because I'm a nerd and I really like nerdy cards. And this is a nerdy card deck. So tell me about Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? First one out is an offer under the caution and love on the brain with your sign. So somebody is reminiscing, dreaming about you if it's past sign of course, or a past relationship, of course, is somebody in your past. Um, it's like entanglement. It's, it's kind of a weird feeling, but it's codependent. It's like seduction it's holding on to holding on to cap won't let go and the distracted uh maybe a fellow earth sign you might be dealing with somebody's gonna come and talk about this confession tell me about this confession what's going on karmic friends Somebody can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition, keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. Divorce is a drama starter in the reverse. So the shocking news about this drama starter, I almost get like under the covers or somebody starting crap um, in this confession. I feel like Mm. Cap, I'm not sure. I have so many messages coming in. Dodging bullets. Blocking negativity. And caught a case. Ooh. 
and that's give it time and rejection about Kai catching a case. No facts. All right, and so somebody's starting drama and the drama starter is being rejected by the crew, I feel, um, this friendship. So it's, it's, it's got posse vibe again all over this. I don't know, Cap, what to tell you. So if you were the target of this, I'm sorry, I am just work. I just work here. But it's definitely um, related to a Taurus, a Virgo, and a Capricorn. And if you were affected, I almost want to say super heavy on the Taurus. Um, so it, there might be a Virgo involved, but it's more heavy on the Taurus for me. And I feel like this caution with possibilities, um, somebody took a risk. Yeah. Somebody took a risk, I feel, cap, and uh, jumped into a relationship with this Taurus who was super threatened by you, I believe, and started, you know, gang stalking you, talking crap about you, starting drama with you. And when this um, Taurus was um, dumped, I guess, best way to put it, they might even still be together, but I feel like the person that chose the Taurus over you, cap, ended up like is going to come back and tell you about this confession about they should have never done that. They should have stayed with you. They listened to their stupid karmic friends and now they're, they messed it up. They need, they don't feel like you'll forgive them and they're going to take a risk and come in. I think the Taurus started dirt throwing at you in a variety of different ways. Maybe I hear cyberbully attacking on comments, just petty jealousy and insecurity and quite honest you got a group of karmics led by a you know in my opinion a narcissist so you have you have somebody who started the show it doesn't go well you know and this now this person's dodging bullets and you are too you're dodging you're handling it like a pro though i think it's shocking this information um and maybe this uh this Taurus and this, I want to say water sign is ending up getting a divorce over this situation, over the, not just because of this, but I think they just jumped in from one relationship with you to this relationship. And as a result, um, this, I want to say this, this earth sign is overreacting by getting their friends maybe and smearing your name or trying to start drama because I have drama starter in the reverse, the karmic friends, and everybody's falling apart. Like the karmic friends are falling apart. They, they accepted a dirty offer to gang stock or at least cyber bully you, I feel. And now the, the water sign and the earth sign are breaking up. Could be an air sign, to be quite fair. Could be an Aquarius. Yeah. There's a divorce here. Um, and that's shocking news to people. But I think that uh, you're handling it, you're handling it very well. I think you're, the card says escaping crazy people, so I have to assume you're doing fine. You're handling it really well, Cap. And so this also says give it time. So it's at one day and give it time. So it's almost like I won't accept this person back right now. I need to heal, and they need to make amends and figure out why they even allowed this. <coughs> this person feels like you're going to reject them. They caught a permanent case of whatever the hell that is. You know, they can't get rid of it. And they, I feel like they can't come back to you now. I do feel it's a, I feel like either it's a fire sign, like an Aries or a water sign. That's the real base of this. I'm going to pull some cards here. In fact, I'm being drawn to a fellow Cappy's favorite deck. And you know who you are. Uh, I don't even know what deck it is. That's the outside. It's pretty. It's just your standard right away. Big, big pictures. Call it my kindergarten kindergarten deck. It's kind of fun. Tell me more about Capricorn. Lots of challenges. This is a breakup of that karmic party. It's a seven of wands. It's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of challenges. And it's not just the challenges originally, like this was a mess from the jump, but I have a lot of options at this page of swords is, I think somebody's gonna come forward and have a conversation with you, Cap, asking for forgiveness and an honest conversation. They're gonna be honest with you about what went down. 
um, whether it, I believe it will be in our sign that comes to you. This is gonna make you very, very happy. Ten of Cups in the upright, followed immediately by the Nine of Wands dropping it, right? You're right there, done. And they wanna be su super successful. They've been living in this, this state of anxiety for a while. This person's been sitting up in their head. Um, look at all those wands. You've got nothing but wands on the table here, defining your read. And that's a lot of stress and outward anxiety. This is fighting, arguing, chaos, drama. And you're at a nine. I'm just waiting for the 10. And uh, this conversation's gonna make you happy because it gives you a sense of understanding of kind of why you've been dealing with it. Yep, this is all about codependency. This is all about being tethered tethered to a relationship that wasn't fulfilling to begin with. It looked like it was, um, not by you, but by the water sign. Sorry for the noise in the background. People aren't considerate. It's, it's my kid getting ice. He's just like, mama, it's a hundred degrees on this one. It's not a hundred, it's like 75. Okay, so we have the chariot, him racing in. Or she racing in. Somebody's racing in. This earth sign is going to come in and apologize to you. This information is going to come in fast. They're going to confess the whole situation. That's the vibe I get. The lover's card. Ironically, it's the same two people just being led by a different oracle. Right? A different, a different um, passion, different energy, we'll say. One's being led through codependency and one's a, a sense of lack and the other one's a sense of abundance. One's very giving and one's very taking. So I think you elevated Cap and you are moving into a more of a giving m m mode. You might even have a new lover coming in, but I feel like it's got to do with this earth, this earth sign. Um, you are seen as a star. It's very healing and they might want to have a conversation because they've been left out in the cold. You do see this as an emperor and they're gonna rush in and have this conversation. I feel somebody told this emperor, and I do feel like that might be a water sign feeling too. I don't know why I'm saying that, I just do. Um, it could be a Scorpio. It could be a Cancer. You know, it could be a Pisces. Actually, it could be anybody. I, I just feel like it's a water sign. It's like got some, a lot of emotion. And they're gonna rush in and try to heal this. And they want to come in and have a conversation with you about the why. This has gone on way too long. Cap, you have a decision to make. This person is going to offer you this opportunity. And previously, um, there might have been more than one person in the party. And I feel like you deaded it and they're going to come back. You deaded it because they were an undergiver. I just said that with the lover's card. And you were an overgiver. Strife and fighting and deceit and lies all around them. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna, that's what they're going to talk to you about. It might hurt. I got to be honest. They're going to say some truths that their version of it. It's a narcissistic kind of gaslighting sort of truth. Well, I wouldn't have cheated on you if I really knew how you felt about me. And if you were more forthright with how you feel, I would have felt like I was superior and blah, 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 blah. And words, words, and no reasoning and not really holding water with my answers. But that kind of vibe. So this is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is somebody who's solid. But they're also very strategic. And this person is strategizing. I believe that uh, you sat in this hermit mode, kind of safe and protected and bubble wrap. You know, you've been kind of looking at your next next um, opportunity. And this is what happens is you get justice out of the situation. And uh, I think you're going to walk away from this wonderful king of wands yet again. Cap, you might take this person back. But judgment and nine of swords are coming in. This person is being held. And I mean, when they are full of anxiety, that nine of wands, seven of wands, that's a lot of anxiety. That's can't sleep, can't eat, can't can't think, can't think outside of you in this situation. It's just constantly on the spin. And they can't get a breath. And here comes the uh, the death card. And they want a resurrection. They want a rebirth to have a solid foundation and have this brand new, wonderful beginning. All wands, mind you, all wands on my on my board. A couple of swords, but those are defending yourself. And I have the page of wands. And then the Wheel of Fortune. Not a cup amongst them. And the only pentacle, I think, is you. <laughs> the King of Pentacles. Well, maybe them. I think you're going to be very happy. I have, the ten of, I have the Ten of Cups. This is your energy coming out, Cap. Or you're going to sit in the hangman situation. And the Knight of Pentacles is finally an offer. I don't know if you're going to take it because I have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Nine of Swords making this person super anxious. 
yeah, they see this King of Swords is also going to come in and be honest with you. Is also going to have sees you as a Queen of Pentacles stable. So I feel like there might be some financial issues with this person. Definitely some emotional issues. Thank you. And they're going to have to get over some of this. I have the Sun on the bottom of the deck kept. So no matter what you do, you're going to find that inner strength, and you're going to end up in a brand new situation with this person or independently, only to meet somebody using your intuition for your happily ever after. It can be this person. It can be. I'm going to take another deck. Third deck out. <laughs> Use a gun on the third. Tell me about Cap. Two of Cups, followed by the Seven of Cups. This person is going to tell you about having a lot of options. They're also going to tell you about the group dynamics that I was just talking about. You're going to get better details that I'm giving you for sure because there's a lot of energy on this table and it's multiple people. I just don't know what level of involvement they are in this situation. A, uh, Ace of Wands is they want a fresh start. They want to have a brand new opportunity relationship, but they are looking for a little fun. I think you're going to drop that. There's that 10. Can't make it up. Cannot. Next two out that just jumped out at me is the star and the seven of swords. This is, you know, like jealousy. I'm sorry. This person is very competitive with you. This might be a twin. So you have a seven of swords, which is deceitful action. It's lying, cheating, stealing, hidden agendas, stra strategies, right? And so I think that they want to get in your good graces, Capricorn, because they want something you have, whether it's clout, whether it's it's almost like a partnership. I almost feel like somebody's gonna approach you for a conversation to start a business or like get on, like I see kind of like, I don't know, combined efforts maybe, it is about money. You're the queen of swords, um, trying to have an honest conversation. You're like, come and talk to me, but you're super guarded and hurt and you're over this, but you're just not willing to entertain this. And this person wants to be victorious, rushing in to have a conversation about restarting this, this up again can't make this up and if that wasn't enough energy I got this one but I do have um the sun on the reverse so that's misery it's not happiness at all it's very much same old same old continued depression not depression oppression you know continue somebody holding you back um I have justice on the bottom of the deck meaning I get that and then a tower so I feel like there's a lot of this energy that's telling you, watch your watch yourself. You are the Nine of Pentacles alone. You don't need anybody's assistance. You're the Queen of Pentacles, solid, stable, manifesting everything. I got the Five of Swords, followed by the Seven of Swords, followed by the Five of Cups. So this person's sitting in remorse because they just feel stupid, followed by the Death card. It's the same cards. It's just the same repetitive conversation that I'm occurring. They're going to come in and promise you the moon, the stars, the sun, but they're all wands. They're all wands. And the only pentacle is after you succumb or when you say no, and then they escalate it to a pentacle. But I don't know if you can trust this energy. Mm. Tell me about cap. Not in this situation. Temperance. It lacked, it lacked balance from the jump. It lacked balance. Mm. Tell me about cap. Yeah, all in the reverse. Queen of Cups. That's my loving, giving, kind king or queen. King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. All in the reverse. So distorted thinking, petty, back and forth, argumentative, defensive, cunning, crafty, strategic, um, withholding. That's this energy. So that's, I feel, same shit, different day would be the card in my mind of coming out as an oracle card. And I still don't feel anybody's had a conversation with you about this permanent luggage situation that arose from when they left you. I feel like this is karma from walking away from their blessing. I feel like they're dealing with some of the karma. Um, and I feel like you maybe were rejected. I think you're going to reject them now. And that's the tower coming down on them. Is like, wait a minute, what do you mean to reject me? I'm the prize. And you're like... Cracker Jack prize. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just saying, because you know, love you're going to, you know, I love my purse and I want it back. Fine, go get him or get her. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just telling you the energy on the cards. You're sitting in a space of um, that hangman as you're looking at it, trying to see it from their perspective. I think more than half will be happy to move forward. Several of you are gonna sit in a hermit, listen to their nostalgia, talk about the, the 
coming up, future, um, going in, inner strength, and choosing this person as a lover, and the wheel will start because you ended the cycle to start a new one. Congratulations. And the new one may or may not include this person, but there is restoration and again, justice, and you have a decision to make. It's the same cards in the same order. Oh my gosh, in the same order. Devil, 10. You are the Empress. Clearly, you are all four queens. You're coming off as both wands as well as cups. Very exciting stuff. And the swords. So you're three out on the table, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you're looking forward to, I feel, restoration of this relationship. You have a decision to make because I feel like a lot of you are already in another relationship. This is an older relationship where you're dating somebody. Um, and this person's asking you for time. And I feel like it's... Mm, I feel like irrational fear and they want to get perfect before coming in. That's not real. I, I don't think anybody can do that. Um, but I do feel like whether it's a water sign or an earth sign or a fire sign, it doesn't matter what the, what the names of the zodiacs are. Whomever approaches you to correct a previous situation, you're going to have to use your discernment to see if anything has changed. Because if nothing changes, then nothing changes. It only gets worse, right? Um, so in number 23, it's I am adventurous. That's your, that's your, that is your energy. It says you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything with everything possible. I love that. You love change and excitement and need both to feel f truly alive. Uh, for you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. So when you see a two and a three, 23 in any combination um, numbers out there. Just know that your Sherpa tribe is trying to guide you into knowing that you're adventurous and you're going to try maybe doing this cycle again with some boundaries, right? Um, this is your message this week, Cap. Love and light to each and every one of you. Before you leave, please hit that subscribe button and enter your name in the drawing for the free read giveaway. I'm giving away five 30-minute um, readings. That's a savings of 75 bucks a read with me in person, live, line, okay? So I can do your reading then. Um, I will send you, uh, I will post announcements of who won on the community tab, probably mid-June. And then if you want more deets on this situation, feel free to email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and we'll get you scheduled for a reading at your leisure. So love and light to each and every one of you. Take care and until next time.